Has it been a nightmare trying to buy, build, sell, or refinance a home? Then wake up to the real estate dream team of Janice Bradley and Diana Rice Wilkerson. This dynamic duo provides you with up-to-date, honest information, credit counseling, financing options, and more. Don't listen to haters who say, you can't own your own home. Yes, you can. With Janice and Diana, call now and listen for them on the Home and Finance Show, Saturdays, 1 p.m. on WTLC AM 1310 The Light. and welcome to the Home and Finance Show on Channel 40. We're your host. I'm Diana Rice Wilkerson with Fairway Independent Mortgage and... Good morning, I'm Janice Bradley with JB Real Estate Consultants. Now maybe in the past you've heard us on Radio One, The Light, um, but Home and Finance is now coming to television and we are so happy that you're joining us. Today we're going to be talking about the home buying process and our guest today is a couple who we were blessed to be able to help complete their journey of buying a home. And we want them to share with you some of the, some of the things that they learned and the process and just kind of help you, those of you especially who might be looking or even if you have kids, family members who may be considering buying a home, this information will be intended to help them be better prepared as they go through the process. But before we get started, I just want to check in with my friend Janice Bradley and see how how is the state of real estate, young lady? <laughs> the state of real estate. Okay, let's say this. Uh, breaking news, okay, everybody loves that. Is now you see it and now you don't. So we are dealing with the seller's market for the third year. And um, I don't know how any other year can outdo what's been happening so far. Uh, saying that, what does that mean? So many people don't understand what a seller's market means. Um, it means that, that there are more buyers than there are sellers. The inventory is very, very low, and we are receiving multiple offers. So a home can be listed for 150 today. Tomorrow, they may have received at least four to five, six, seven offers. It really kind of depends, not just at the 150 sales price, but at a higher price, maybe even to up to $10,000. So when you talk about the state of real estate in Indianapolis, Indiana, every country, every around the city, of course, is, uh, country is a lot different. But here, and like I said, is now you see it, now you don't. You have to be prepared in so many different ways. Even the negotiation, uh, I've made different kind of negotiation um, uh, offers that I have not ever done before. So basically, um, it is, are we having fun yet? Yes, yes and no. We are. <laughs> yes, because we are still buying houses. And again, it's just been exciting. But we just want you to know we upfront, you know, some of the things that you need to know up upfront. If you're ready to buy a house, the time is now. You these rates are just unbelievable. Diana can also share with that, which is helping you buy more. That's We've exactly got a lot right. of down payment assistance programs, which of course is in Diana's um lap, but Again, that's the state of real estate right now. Stay tuned. It sounds like get on your mark, set, go. Get on go. your mark and set, go. Okay, great. And, and as Janice mentioned, uh, financing is, is still strong. Rates are very good, not only for buying a home, but also for refinancing. So anyway, uh, just kind of listen to the show today. You'll see our information on the screen. We would welcome you to contact us if you have a desire to buy, build, refinance. Um, or just have a conversation about real estate. But let's move right on into our guest. We have the pleasure today of having a couple that we were able to finance and we're just so excited, number one, that they've, they're have they able to join us yes. today. Janice, I'm gonna let you introduce them. Okay, well, they're Lauren, Lauren and Ron J. Smith and I have known Lauren for I don't know how many years. So I do appreciate her coming to, uh, to us, you know, to find their first home. Um, just a pleasure. She, her whole family's just been a pleasure, but it always means much when they uh, obviously come to you to help them. Now, I need to know from you guys, when did you, when did you, what made your decision? What made you decide this was the time to buy a home? Um, honestly, I would probably say we came to the, the decision after having our, our son. Um, and we, we were, at the time we were renting a home and we were 
quickly outgrowing the home. Um, so I, I, uh, <clears throat> I know it's always been something that Lauren wanted. Um, and I wound up coming to her and just saying, hey, look, it's time for us to, it's time for us to take this journey. It's time. Uh, the place we were at was, was getting way too small. Um, and everything seemed to be accumulating for the baby. So, <laughs> <laughs> so um, I, I, I came to her. Um, I basically came to her with a plan saying, hey, this is where I want to be uh, within a year's time. Um, and we just put it in action. Okay, but before that, let me ask, and this is a question I want each of you to answer individually. Prior to that decision, and I certainly do understand that, as Janice says, the uh, family grows, but the house doesn't. Right. So it sounds like you might have been in one of those situations. But prior to that, as individuals, and before you may have even known each other, was becoming a homeowner ever in your plans? Um, for me, it was. I didn't know when it would be in my plan, but I did know that I would. Um, we've always had a house. I've never, as a child, never lived in an apartment. So um, apartment living in my 20s was, you know, okay because I was single. Um, but as soon as we got married, we started renting a house. And then we knew that once I got pregnant that we would want a house for our child. So at that point, I knew that's the point where it's it's now it's time to go ahead and start that home buying journey. Excellent. And for me, um, I didn't think too much about home ownership. Um, I, I grew up opposite of Lauren. So I, I had a lot of apartment living in and, and renting home, renting a home. So, um, I was, you know, I'm in my twenties, I'm young, I'm single, I'm not really thinking about marriage or home ownership. So none of that was on my mind. Um, it wasn't until after um, I, I met Lauren and started dating and started and then we grew a family and it started to become more logical um, or just made more sense. It's, it's time for us to be, be homeowners, um, not only for the space, but, um, you know, there's certain things we want for for our child, for our son. So, um, like I said, it just it was just the right thing to do. It was time. And you know, one of the mysteries that um, around the process is just how do you get started? We hear this all of the time. It's like, you know, what's the first step? So, kind of share with us what was your first step. Honestly, our we we took the step probably three times. Um, and Miss Janice was actually our third time. Um, I had kind of let the reins go to Rondre um, because he has a more flexible schedule. And so he has more time to do those things. Um, we tried a couple of times um, and it was very uh, difficult. And um, finally um, we were staying with my mom and you know, I, I had, I had thought about Miss Janice and my mom said, hey, you know, why don't y'all check Miss Janice out? And I said, you know, I think that at this point that's a great idea. And um, once we contacted Miss Janice, everything was, um, and she connected us with you, um, everything was seamless. I mean, so that's how I know that if you have the right people working for you, um, things, things aren't hard. Now, I mean, you might have a little, some hiccups in the road because we had a couple of hiccups, but it was literally like, okay, you need to do this, contact me. We talked and everything was taken care of, you know, within 30, 20, 30 minutes or, hey, I need, you know, you would call us and say, hey, I need you to do A, B and C before this time, okay. And so um, sometimes I think um, African-Americans, we, we work with people who are not working for us. And when you realize, uh, because we had people tell us because Ron Dre is a contractor, um, he had to do all these astronomical things. But when we worked with you and Miss Diane, every, I mean, it was just, we could tell that y'all were working for us and not against us. And um, not for yourselves, but you were actually working for us um, and not for your profit. And it made things so much seamless. I mean, it was the day that we looked at a home to the day we closed was like 37 days or something yeah. like that. I mean, it was literally seamless. Well, the and very fact is, and to go back to <clears throat> what Lauren said about us working with people prior to to uh, Miss Janice, um, we had come to a decision 
um, probably the year we were still renting. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it was almost like a two year process. Um, but we have come to a decision like, hey, we're not gonna stress, we're gonna pray over it. If it doesn't feel right, we're backing out of it. We're not gonna question it. So um, anytime something that came across as just weird or just didn't seem to be in its place, mm -hmm. We pulled out and we regrouped and exactly what we, did. <laughs> we 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 went a different direction until we were able to find find the lane that we were supposed to be in. And thank you for that. And one of the uh, Lauren, you mentioned that your husband was a contractor, but let's say he's self-employed. So oh, yes. yeah, no, that's just something we want to share okay. with the listening audience that made it maybe a little bit more challenging for other people, but not for Diana Rice Wilkerson, oh, you know, so, you know, so, you know, we just have to give God the glory on that, you know, for sure. No, for sure. And I, I just want to add one thing else. Go right ahead. Um, we were also, when we were working with somebody else prior, that same person worked with the company that Miss Diane works with, and they were making it so difficult for us. Um, all the things that we had to do because my husband was self-employed and then when we got with miss diane and she was telling us she worked for the same company and the and the things <laughs> were not the same we were like wow these you know we we were we were shocked but we were so grateful to come across a pair of 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 Y'all are such a blessing to us because you let us know that, yes, we can do it. Some things might need to be a little bit different, but we're going to go ahead and get this taken care of. And like I said, everything was seamless. Mm -hmm. No, and I'm a stressful person and I did not stress <laughs> at all during this whole process. That was part of the reason why I, I kind of took the reins on it because yeah. I know that she did, she, 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 she can become overly anxious very quick. So my whole thing was, I want to remove as much stress as possible off of her Beautiful. and whatever I can do. And then I'll just bring information back to her. <laughs> we'll, we'll go that way. But yeah, it was uh, to, to both of our surprise. It was, it was so stress-free. And how long has it been now? Almost a year. Yeah. Maybe yeah. a year. Yeah. A year in um, November, yeah. like wow. mid-November. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. Well, you know, I remember a couple of things. Okay. <laughs> First thing is, is that this, <laughs> first thing, I believe, Lauren, you were baptized? I was, was baptized that, yes. Um, yes. That Sunday, we, um, we were on a Sunday. We, it was a Sunday afternoon, correct? So I grew up Catholic, but I'm now, uh, you know, in a non-denominational church. And since that's how I'm living, I wanted to get baptized for my son so that he, because um, Casey had any questions to ask me and God had put it on my heart to be baptized. Um, so right. I did. That morning, we looked at a house. This is the house that we're sitting in. It's the house we looked at that afternoon. And I think that was a Sunday. On Monday, we put in an offer. Right. And it was funny because I, because when we walked in, yes. <laughs> the yes. tour, I, I leaned over to her. I said, hey, am I supposed to like the house, the first house we look at? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and that was my question is to you. Were you prepared to fall in love with the first, with house. The first home that we saw? No. We all fell in love. <laughs> No, because honestly, I like the, uh, I sent you the list of, you sent me this huge list. I sent you a list of three and I had them in order yeah. of how I like them. And I think this and was the no second attention. or the, third. this was the third was one. The list. And so this, but this was the first how you, how you showed us. And so we were both like, what? <laughs> <laughs> so this wasn't the first one on my list, but then when you took, you did take us to see that first one and I wasn't impressed with the house nor the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And so we immediately, um, we went home, we talked, I think it was like 30 minutes or so and we called you back like, this is it. What do we need to do in order to get this house? That's awesome. Yeah, it, it was. And, and I share with you too. I, I mean, I really probably hate to admit this, but um, I know Diana always pre-approves you. I had the pre-approval letter, of course, in the file. There's no if and buts about it. And um, you did, you made choices. And of course, this house was actually more than Diana approved you for. So uh, you do remember that? And I just said, okay, let's call Diana. Let's see what happened. Of course, she's the magic person on this, but it just was a Absolutely. wonderful neighborhood for you. Um, the sellers were so gracious to us. There's no if and buts about it. And I, it's always, it always makes you feel a lot different when it is the first home, okay? 
that you see. So you, when you say that, though, what, you, what do you mean? Like, kind of like, are you a little afraid that it's the first home that you absolutely. sell? Absolutely. Okay, because you're I like, mean, you know, you you know, your instincts are, you are there jumping to protect out there you. too soon. Yeah. But there they are. I there they are. When I first got into business, I have to share with you. And when and I had a, a client that wanted to buy the first house they saw, I couldn't, I wouldn't let them do it. I mean, I knew something was wrong. So I sh showed them three or four more, and they were mad at me. You know, they were absolutely <laughs> mad at me. But you know. Um, we, we understand it. How you to know. win friends and influence people. <laughs> <laughs> she should not teach the class. <laughs> so what would you say would be the, the, the most difficult in the home buying and in the lending process? I know you have shared with us it was seamless to you and that is absolutely wonderful. But can you just go a little further with that? I think just making sure before you are ready to buy a house that you're prepared down a lot of debt, we, tr we, may, we try to get prepared. Now, even when we found the house and it was, um, like you said, a little bit over um, what we were approved for, Miss Diana told us, hey, you need to pay down this amount in this many days. Is that possible? And um, it, it clearly it was because we're sitting in the house now. But I think you just have to be... Um, prepare to do whatever you need to do for the, that outcome. You know, we had some savings. Um, you have to just be willing to compromise a little bit um, on some things. So you might not be able to go out to eat. Like we didn't go out to eat. We, you know, there were some things that, you know, people were like, hey, do you want to go out? No, because we don't want to spend that extra hundred dollars um, going out and having fun because we're, 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 we're banking on our future right now. Um, we're banking on our future. So you just have to be willing to commit to the process once you, you set forth and that's what you're ready to do. I'm a shoe fanatic, so it was hard for me. I had to stop buying shoes. <laughs> had to yeah. shoes. Had to, for 37 days. Yeah. <laughs> and, and what we know also was so, <laughs> what we also know what was great in this particular situation that was such a, was a blessing, and again, you know, thanks to Diana and kudos to her, was the fact that you did um, yes. qualify for down payment assistance. You know, and that was, yes. that, that was so, so, so key. It helped us in negotiating, but that had to give you a great, uh, that allowed you, as you said, to, to use whatever uh, funds you had to do some other things, you know, whether it's paying down a charge yes. here or there. So, you know, that's what we call win-win. Yes. Well, one of the things yes, I, absolutely. one of the things that, um, that I need to say is you guys were awesome clients. And when I say that, Thank you. Uh, you were awesome clients. I love the fact that neither one of you, and I talked to Dre the most, never made a decision yeah. without talking to you, Lauren. <laughs> ne but he would never. I mean, I was on the phone. I mean, for a moment there, we were rolling. I mean, it was like, I know he is going to be so sick of me calling him. But you know, it was, I would call you. We knew what to do, but you always talked to Lauren first. So she was very involved very completely in the process. That's no problem. Um, and I think that made a difference. It made a big difference. The other thing you did was you responded quickly. Anything that we did need, you were able to respond within minutes or seconds, it seems like. So that made a huge difference as well. Sorry. Oh, well, thank you so much. Yeah, we were um, stalking our emails because, you know, <laughs> when you're in a house buying process, like an hour can, you know, somebody else could put an offer in or anything, you know what I mean? So. We were, we were just always, I'm um, texting him, hey, did you see the email? <laughs> he texted me, mom, hey, babe, did you see the email? I'm like, yes. So um, Ron Gray did take the lead, and I, I was really appreciative to that because my job is a little bit more, you know, stringent, and he has a little bit more flexibility in his day, and um, he can step away a little bit more than I can. Um, so, yeah, we, we, we try to just be on top of it because, you know, like I said, one one minute, <laughs> you know, like if, if you needed us to do something and we didn't do it in a timely manner, that could push things back. So what what have you noticed? Let, share with us what has been better now that you have your home. How has owning a home made life better? Well, first, there's a, just a feeling of accomplishment um, when you when you just when you set a goal uh, for yourself and your family. Um, and as as a as a husband, um, for me, it's just a, a, a feeling of accomplishment that, you know, I, I feel like I, I was able to provide a home for for my family. Um, 
uh, um, I feel a lot more at ease. I feel good that um, I can say that, you know, I have ownership of something. Um, I don't know, it's, it's a lot. That's, it's kind of hard to put into words. Um, Do you keep track of the value of your home increasing? Because you know you paid a certain amount for your home. And in many cases with, with um, technology today, once you become a homeowner, folks are out there able to get your information, N not your social and things of that nature, but they do know you've become a homeowner. Um, do, do you keep track of any notifications about the increase in your value? Um, I personally don't, um, well, I haven't yet, let's just say that, because um, it's kind of just like the first year, we're still yeah. kind of settling in and, um, you know, settling in, but I think that is something that we probably will be doing, you know, in the future to make sure that, you know, we're, that the neighborhood that we're living in is still, you know, viable and um, we are gaining equity in our house. Right, right. Do you, um, what, if you had to do this process all over again, what would be some things that you would do differently, if anything? probably do more research on the people that we start working with initially. Yeah. Um, I, I wish we would have run into you guys the first time. Um, so I think that's where most of our stress came from because it caused like un uneasiness and kind of made us question whether we were truly ready for the home buying process. Um, so I would just probably say, just in in the in regard to knowing who we are working with, just mm -hmm. putting in more research, um, and 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 trusting uh, trusting people close to us when they give us referrals, because because her mother actually referred you guys. Yes, <laughs> she would have. <laughs> she would have. That's okay. That's okay. Things happen the way they're supposed to happen. So, uh, what would you say? just kind of a walk away and just something that you think um, buyers or prospective buyers need to know um, just from your from your journey. So just encouraging words or anything that you would like to share to let everybody know exactly, hey, this is what you do or this is if this is worth it, whatever. Um, I know for a fact that uh, Diana and I working as a team has all, always helped the process because there's a trust factor. There's, we're all involved. We're in this. To, we're in this together. So I don't know. I'm not trying to put words in your mouth, but just just give us some walk away words, words of wisdom. Um, if it doesn't feel right, it's most likely not. Okay. Um, don't doubt yourself in the process, but trust the process and really make sure that you're trusting who you're using. Um, because once, like I said, once we got with um, you and Miss Diane, um, we really felt like you wanted us to have a house, <laughs> you know, and um, you were gonna help us by any means get to that point. You know, even if this wasn't, even if we didn't get this house, I, I really felt like y'all would have helped us get a house that we that we loved so um and we did not feel that with the first two people you know we barely even got through paperwork process with them um without that you know that that uneasy feeling so you really you really do have to follow your heart and know that when somebody is not working for you it's okay to fire the, that person and find somebody who will i love it and it is okay because it's all about you guys. It I is. mean, Janice and I feel that way 100%. This is your home, this is your journey. We're grateful and honored to be a part of it. And success to us is that you're happy Absolutely. at the closing yeah. table and that you, you want us to be in the closing room with you. You know what I'm saying? Yes. We, we've not fallen yes. out. We've not fallen out of love by the end of the process, okay? And with the size of your house, I don't think you should be moving in the next three or four years. <laughs> 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 when we're talking about your kids, well, your your child will not outgrow that house. Even three more, if you have three more, will not outgrow that particular home. <laughs> <laughs> well, we want to take. Landon starts. He starts school next year, so um, 
he'll be in kindergarten next year. So, um, you know, we're excited. You know, I see the kids now getting on the bus and, the, you know, the neighborhood is quiet. You know, you don't see random people walking at night and, you know, we feel safe where we're living. So, um, you know, we're just, we're very, we're very, very blessed to have come in contact with the, the two of you and you, you made our dreams come true. Honestly, you know, our son says almost every day, I love my house. I love my house. I That's love amazing. my house. Thank you for getting me a house. Thank you for getting me a room, <laughs> you know, and that means everything yeah. to us because yeah. honestly, this is why we did it. It's for him. What better way to end the show? <laughs> it's awesome. We are so grateful to you and thank you very, very much. And you have a blessed day. Thank you guys. Thank you, you again. Also. Okay. All righty. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Amazing. More than, more than. Um, and, 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 and we didn't pay them either. No, we, no, we didn't we pay didn't. them anything. <laughs> but we did it. But again, this is what the Home and Finance Show is all about. Absolutely. We want you to understand the process. Um, there's, as we say on the radio, if you don't tune into the radio, we would encourage you to on 1310 um, AM on Saturdays from one to two. We, we, this is a live show on Saturday. So you call in with your questions. Um, the um, Andre, or, you know, Dre and um, Lauren. Lauren went through a couple of other folks before getting to Janice and myself. We want to help you better understand how to identify your partners as well. So um, I think we probably are getting ready to wind it we up. We are. And we'll see you next week. Well, yes, we will. Thank you for tuning in. Bye bye. Has it been a nightmare trying to buy, build, sell, or refinance a home? Then wake up to the real estate dream team of Janice Bradley and Diana Rice Wilkerson. This dynamic duo provides you with up-to-date, honest information, credit counseling, financing options, and more. Don't listen to haters who say, you can't own your own home. Yes, you can. With Janice and Diana, call now and listen for them on The Home and Finance Show, Saturdays, 1 p.m. on WTLC AM 1310 The Light.